Welcome back you beautiful Python developers. Now before we go on to learn about storing the scrapped data inside our database, we got to learn about pipelines. I'm talking about this file on the left hand side pipelines.py. So if we discuss the flow of our scrapped data, it somewhat looks like this. It first gets scraped by a spider, then it is stored inside these temporary containers called as items and then you can store them inside a JSON file. But what if we want to send this data to a database like SQLite or MySQL? What we have to do is we have to add one more step to this flow. After storing them inside item containers, we are going to send them to this pipeline where this process underscore item method is automatically called and the item variable will contain our scrapped data. Now all of this code inside this pipelines.py file has been automatically generated for us by Scrappy but we still need to activate this pipeline inside our settings.py file. So let's open up our settings.py file and over here we are going to search for the word pipeline and uh, let's close the search functionality and over here you can see that this word of item underscore pipelines is written. So let's actually uncomment these three lines. So you can just select all of these three lines and if you're using PyCharm, you can just press the control button and then the backslash button to uncomment multiple lines at the same time. So now that the pipeline has been activated, I just want to tell you one more thing about this number over here. So the lower the number is, the more priority a pipeline is given. So for example, let's say we have created multiple pipelines over here and then in settings.py file, we have to add another pipeline because this code tutorial pipeline has been automatically created for us by using Scrappy. But if we add another pipeline over here, we'll have to add them inside item underscore pipelines and depending upon the priority, we have to give it a number. So if this is a higher priority, that is that we want to execute this pipeline first, we'll give it a lower number than the other pipeline. So this we'll just leave it at 300. After this, let me just go through the flow of our spider and of our pipeline. So whenever we scrap data over here and in our case the title, author and tag and we yield items, every time we yield items it goes to this pipelines.py file now that we have activated the pipeline in our settings.py file and it goes to this method of process underscore item and it contains the item that are sent from over here. So this yield items at every for loop these items are sent to this pipelines.py file and they are contained inside this item variable. Actually, it's an item list. So let's actually try this out. And what we are going to do is we are just going to print the value out. So I'm just going to write pipeline over here, pipeline, and uh, we're just going to print out a title. So I'm just going to write item and inside it, I'm just going to write title. So this should print out the quote that we are scrapping. So let's just uh, go to our quotes underscore uh, spider and open up our terminal, go inside our project folder just normally how we activate our crawler and we can just write scrappy crawl and quotes and press enter and now the crawler has run properly so let's actually maximize the window and now if we go up over here that this is an error it says a type error must be a string not list so we made a very basic error it's fine so let's go back to our pipelines.py file and let me actually also add a uh, zero over here and this will contain our string hopefully i think this contains the string and if we don't write the zero over here then we just return a kind of a dictionary so let's actually crawl it again and see if it works this time and hopefully it will otherwise i'll kill myself i, I, I won't i'm just kidding but anyways let's scroll up now and it should work all right so it's working now and as you can see along with the quotes of author tag and title that we are printing out using our uh, this yield items over here we have also printed out this line that says pipeline and then it has the quote that we want to print out so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to be learning how to finally send this data from our pipelines.py file to our database and more specifically we are going to be learning about SQLite database in the next video so i'll see you over there